right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 18th of February. Man, already half the way through the month of February, we have just been drinking at a breakneck pace here at the Wine Watch. 500 wines already in our database for this year. Whew, it's a lot of drinking, but uh, we're up to the task here. And uh, one of my favorite places to drink, Washington State. We've been going there for the last couple of years to attend the Washington State Wine Auction. Actually, three years. I missed last year, but th made it three years in a row. And I have to say, made a lot of new friends there. And one of my favorite personalities that I've met on my journeys is Alan Shoup. Alan was the, from the school of Chateau St. Michel, the CEO there for years, and then came up with this brilliant idea, one of the most genius ideas in the wall of the wine industry. He said, I'm going to bring celebrity winemakers to the great state of Washington, and I'm going to turn them on to some of our great vineyard sites. We're going to get them to help us make some of the varietals that they specialize in. Like, for instance, Michel Roland, one of the most famous consultants from Bordeaux. Do you think he knows a little bit about Merlot? Yeah. saint Amy on Pomerol, he consults for dozens of people there. Well, they brought him in to make my favorite wine, the Pedestal Merlot. Absolutely incredible expression of Merlot from Washington State, one of the greatest varietals that they do up here. Who, they, who do you think they're going to look to for the, Australia, for Shiraz, Syrah? They also do great Syrah. Sean Duvall, the old winemaker for Penfolds, they brought him in. And uh, let me tell you, the benefactor of all this is Gilles Nico, the winemaker, who gets to work with each one of these celebrity winemakers for, from around the world. He makes a wine called Chester Kidder from some of the top fruit in Washington State. This is a blend of Cabernet, Syrah, and Petit Verdot. And... Uh, this is a beautiful bouquet in this 2012. The 11s were a little bit cool, 12 back to a more typical vintage, what you find here, a little warmer, a lot of rich fruit coming from Candy Mountain and Red Mountain. You get that lovely earthy quality from the Red Mountain dirt, plenty of dark cherry, blackberry, some dark chocolate showing in there. Really nice complexity on the nose, opening up on the second day beautifully. Thick and chewy on the tongue, ripe brown tannins in these 12s, a bigger wine, and then the feather, And uh, but just as nuanced, man, this wine is awesome. Speaking of the feather, Randy Dunn makes that wine, a Cabernet specialist from Napa Valley. And uh, like I said, man, Philippe Melka, the list just goes on and on with the pirouette with Augustine Hunea Sr. Uh, and some other great wines. we got a gift box we're offering with all of the reds in it for an incredible price. Um, if you want to taste everything that's going on in this Long Shadows project from Alan Shoup in the red category, I highly suggest it. Uh, so check it out. Everything we've got. We're also listening to the whites. Yes, they do some pretty good white wines in Washington State. Also, so um, I, trust me, anything in this lineup, you will enjoy a vitro plethora of treats here from Alan Shoup's Long Shadows projects. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.